Well, looky, looky here, hashtag nation. Look at, I mean, the Buffalo Bills are in the AFC Championship game, and what better way to bring it in than to bring in our resident film guru, who just happens to be my brother, Mike, who is the, it coined the uh, ever-famous term minus on hashtag sports, uh, coming all the way from Virginia Beach. Mike, how you doing tonight, bud? I'm rolling. <laughs> oh, God, with that hat? Really? <laughs> I'm rolling? I am. Rolling. <laughs> That's well, like, see it's, it's not like just time. me that likes TJ Yeldon. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. Paul, you're going to say something. I knew something was coming out of that snarky mouth of yours. Nope, I don't want to get demonetized. Nope, can't say it. (laughs) Well, you know what? Like I said, the Buffalo Bills are in the AFC Championship game for the first time since 1993, coincidentally playing the same team that they played in 1993, uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. And we, we're going to be talking about matchups. What? 94? This 93 season. Ah, but a game happened in 94. I'm just making sure that, that – just making sure we're on point. So that being said, uh, with the – the uh, Buffalo Bills going to visit the Kansas City Chiefs. We're going to talk about matchups all this week. Our first matchup on the dock that we're going to be talking about is going to be the one that everybody wants to see and everyone, especially from Buffalo Bills fans, they want to see because it didn't happen in the first game in week six was that Matt Milano versus Travis Kelsey. Now, mm-hmm. um, initial, before we get into any of the nuts and bolts of this, I just wanted to go ask Mike. Mike, is I think it's unquestionable that, that, that Travis Kelsey is the best tight end in, in the NFL right now. True. What do you do, it being a defensive guy, what would you do to try to limit some of the things that Kelsey does just so he doesn't completely kill everything in your in your defense? Hit him off the line every time. You jam him every time? Every time. Every time he leaves. The thing that Andy Reid does to counter that, though, a lot is he flexes him. Okay. So can, you, uh, can you explain that real quick? When you flex a tight end, you're not lined up typically next to a tackle. You're lined up still on the line of scrimmage, but you're lined up three, four, maybe five yards away. It makes it a little bit higher. Gets them, gets them away from the uh, interior line. It, it stops a little bit of banging. Sometimes you can even bring him off the line of scrimmage, play him to the side with the X. The X goes on, the Y comes off, and you won't be able to get hands on him. But I, if, he's, if he's there, I'm putting a guy on him, and I'm banging him every single play. you got to pick your poison, though. Look, Listen. <clears throat> this is the this is one of the greatest offenses like ever, and you, you, are you gonna get are you gonna guard the cheetah? Are you gonna get are you are you gonna guard Kelsey? Are you gonna you know guard Mister Sammy Watkins? Who are you guarding? Because all those cats can run, okay. Every single one of them can run. So you want slow death or fast death? What, what do you want to do? Because honestly, they were playing with Cleveland. They were playing with them. You think so? I think they've been playing for the last six weeks. They've been messing around. Let's <laughs> let's tinker over here. Let's. <laughs> fourth and inches fourth and inches what does the dude do he lines up in shotgun and throws it with a backup quarterback how your balls doing right now Andy? <laughs> oh my god that is that is you know it's interesting enough too because we talk about the week six matchup the buffalo bills did not have their full gamut of defensive players they had a lot of guys out you know that's been the talk around buffalo for, for you know ever since the matchup you know was was finalized when uh, kansas city did beat cleveland and then we're going to be, obviously we're going to be talking about Milano versus Kelsey now, but they held with, with some guys that are practice squad guys. They, they held the cheetah for three for 20. I think Kelsey went five for 65, but did have two touchdowns in the game. So um, <clears throat> I like that. It's a very interesting, um, interesting dynamic. I, I'm sure a lot of other teams have tried that, that, that approach trying to bang him off the line with, with very minimal success. I mean, this guy's six, five, two sixty. He can run a whip route better than a, the slot receiver can. And that's pretty damn scary. How big's Milano? Uh, <laughs> Milano is six foot, 223. Yeah, that's, that, they, that's the problem. The Bills don't have any size in the linebacker room besides Tremaine. Like, he's he's the biggest guy you got. And I, I do not think any Bills fan is signing up to put Tremaine in coverage against Kelsey. I mean, that's just would be a bloodbath. Don't get me wrong. I like Tremaine, Tremaine Edmonds a lot, but he's, he's just not there in coverage. 
right compared to Milano. Milano's just a, a far better coverage linebacker, like well, do far any, superior. Do you have any six foot five, two hundred and fifty pound defensive players that run four fours? <laughs> no. Any of those lying around? No, no. Because <laughs> if you do, you got a matchup. I think I think that's kind of you know the plus and minus that you have to go with this defense is they're built for speed. Right. So it's not necessarily the size matchup. I think the idea is just to try and keep up with Kelsey downfield. If that's, if that's what you're going to have to do, um, you know, Milano is probably your best option to do that because if you look at the nickel linebackers, they're all right around the same size as Milano. So you're not really gaining anything by any of the, the safeties that you bring down in the nickel package. They're all about the same. Um, and none of them are going to match up against Kelsey. I mean, Kelsey's just a hog, even in the run game. Like he's the guy's just such a hog. And one thing I found really interesting about Kelsey was that, uh, only 14% of his targets, um, came off of, um, RPOs, um, 23% of his, I thought that was weird because 23% of his targets came off play action, but that's it. Right. So, I was kind of surprised by that, given the the amount of play action that they actually run in Kansas City. I was kind of that number kind of surprised me a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. I kind of expected that number to be a bit higher. I, I thought he, I thought his target share would be a little bit higher um, off play action. I just I twenty three percent seemed low to me. I thought it was going to be like 36 percent, which just tells me look, that I think you look you're looking too deep into it, Paul. I mean, the really? guy, like the guy, well, the guy's being six five two sixty. How many how many balls he catch this year? A hundred. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, 105. You know, the percentages within certain RPOs or within play action or within drop back or within three step. I don't think it matters. The guy caught a hundred balls. He's gigantic. Nobody can cover him. So, and I don't think Andy Reed looks at it like that either. I think Randy, Andy Reed right now is just drawing up plays going, Oh my God, I got the best team in the world. I can do this. I can do this. But if Patty ball game, if uh, the Patrick price doesn't play this week, and Chad Henney plays, um, I think the Buffalo Bills have obviously a lot better chance of winning, but I think Le'Veon Bell is going to run the ball about 62 times if that happens. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, Mar, I think I think Mike brings up an interesting point. So if you have Chan Hetty and Chan, Chad Henney over Patrick Mahomes, from a pressure standpoint, you know, Henney's been in the league a long time. Are you yes. bringing more pressure than you would against Mahomes? Bringing the house. Oh, yeah. You would definitely dial up some more blisses that you would. But I think – you know, in retrospect, I mean, even with the injury to Mahomes, and you know, you know, let's just put this out on the table right now. I have a hundred percent. I a hundred percent feel that the Buffalo Bills are going to be playing against Patrick Mahomes. I don't think that the, the I mean, concussion protocol. We we found out that the imp- independent uh, neurological um, the uh, individual that was going to be looking at him last name is Goodell, so we looked into that. So therefore, <laughs> he's going to be cleared to play. You're not going to have an MVP candidate not play. I don't care what's going on. Yeah. Even though he looked out on his feet, you know, he looked. <laughs> Patty, well, they're he calling looks, it a neck. In, they're calling it a neck injury. Well, yeah, of course know? they are. So, because, you know, but he's still in protocol. So, yes. Andy Reid still confirmed he's in protocol, but yeah. it's a it's a neck injury. So I, this is just a matter of, of health more yeah. than it is, you know, actually walking through that protocol. He'll clear that protocol. Well, I mean, quickly. Buffalo Bills fans know, I mean, Mitch Moore, uh, you know, was brought up on the on the stream that we had uh, brought up by Hashtag Nation that he went from day uh, from stage one to stage three in one day. Mm-hmm. So he was able to do all those yeah. things in one day. So, I mean, yeah. we know it's I, I, I'm seeing Patrick Mahomes, but I don't think um, I think you would pressure Henning more. But I still think they're going to try to bring pressure at Mahomes because he he provides a little bit different dynamic than the first two quarterbacks that you faced in the playoffs. And it mm-hmm. seems to be the recipe that the Buffalo Bills have used throughout the season against really top-tier quarterbacks. I mean, they started to blitz Russ, Russell Wilson a lot through double-A gap blitzes. So, um, and they, they got him off of his spot. I mean, Mike, you know, people like to talk about it all the time. You want to get the guy off of his spot. What does that mean? Well, you want the quarterback to get out of the pocket and try, try to throw, but... That seems even more dangerous with Mahomes because he could put it anywhere in a hundred by fifty three and a half. He doesn't have a on spot. The run. They're he all his spots. Yeah, they're all his spots. Fifty three and a half yards across and a hundred yards back. Those are all his spots. So Yeah, but I mean, we're talking he's dealing with Mahomes is dealing with a toe injury. Like there's there's a bit more to that. And mm-hmm. you know, looking at the specific matchup of Milano versus Kelsey, um, you know, Milano has been pretty paramount in stepping up to try and support the run. Yeah. Um, 
but you're going to lose that against Kelsey. Like it's clear as day because you're not running three linebackers in this game, right? No. Like I, you're not you're not running a ba- a true base four three. You really haven't run one all season for the most part. You you did up against Baltimore a bit, but you're not really running a base four three here, right? No, no, I don't think you are. And and Milano does have a track record because I mean, recent history shows that he he performed fairly well. I don't have the statistics right in front of me, but he performed fairly well against Gronk, who is a, a bigger tight end, freakish tight end as well. Not really as fast as Kelsey, but still a freak nonetheless at the tight end position. So seventy two years old though. He he was seventy two, maybe yeah. seventy three. I, mean, I don't know. I can't yeah. remember. I'll go back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that being said, Mike, uh, other than <clears throat> other than just totally you know jamming him off the line, what are some things that you like? You're a linebacker. You're you're coaching Matt Milano this week, and you're going up against Travis Kelsey. Obviously, you want him supporting the run. We we're, we're still unsure about Edwards Hilaire or Le'Veon Bell. What's going to be happening this week? What do you tell Milano in the in the film room to this this week going up against Kelsey? Well, if you're if you're talking about a strict man to man situation, I think it's a very tough matchup. So I don't you know try to sugarcoat it for him. It's probably going to be the toughest matchup of his life if he's playing man. Now if he's playing zone, and you still want him to obviously stop the run, he still has to realize all his fits and how he how he works into the run game. But you know, I, I don't want to sound helpless. Obviously, in the film room. Mm-hmm. But this is the best offense you're going to see all year. Mm-hmm. It is. Yep. Um, yep. Now, even if, let's say, Patty Ball games out, it's still probably one of the best offenses you're going to see all year, just because of the skill guys. The skill guys are amazing. They can do anything. Um, I would want to get Henny off his game as fast as possible. I wouldn't – like, Paul, you you tried to make it a, a, a Kelsey-Milano matchup, and I don't think it is. Because mm-hmm. even if you jam and you do everything right – you still got four other guys they can throw the ball to that are pretty fast and mm-hmm. pretty good with the ball. So I don't know if you can do that. I, I love it. Like when, when you used to play like uh, the Patriots back in the day, Hey, try to shut down Gronk and then Brady loses his blanket. And then you could just focus on Welker. You can't focus on one guy in this offense and that's mm-hmm. the problem. So your best bet I think is to get someone to jam the crap out of him when he's within two, three yards of the line of scrimmage flexed out. Now it's going to be a little harder, but when he's inside that range, beat the crap out of him. Every time he comes off the line, hit him. Yeah, I guess that kind of begs a question though, Mike, and maybe, maybe you can clarify this for me. The bills love to run a bunch. They primarily run zone, right? They really, yeah. they're, they've often been a zone secondary, but with yeah. the speed guys that they have on the outside, isn't that going to pull that safety help that you would normally be able to filter down to that tight end and that zone coverage? Isn't that going to pull that safety help a little bit deeper than what you're comfortable with? And isn't that how Kansas city has been killing people is because the safety helps going to the outside for some of these speed receivers. And then Kelsey really is just true man up with a linebacker. Like, isn't that what's what their moneymaker has been all season and the last three seasons. Well, I think the, you know, when you, when you talk about like the pros and you talk about a guy like Patrick Mahomes, it's not like a college situation or it's not even like an average NFL quarterback situation because you could play inside out coverage and have all your ducks in a row. Okay. I'm going to get the speed guy and I could play in the middle. I could stay in the seam and I could play Kelsey. But the one thing is you can have a guy roll to the left and throw back to his right 60 yards. You know, there's only like four or five guys in the NFL that can do that. Mm -hmm. So that really messes with your scheme. You know, like, okay, Mm -hmm. I got this covered. No problem. Oh God. That guy just went back across his body 60 yards and I can't get over there. That's the, that's the problem you do. I mean, it's just from a, from a matchup standpoint, ski, it's, it's a nightmare. And I really like the bills defense. It's just going to be a really tall order. And from Sean McDermott's standpoint, I would like to see him try to take the, uh, take the air out of the ball this week. I know Allen's awesome. And I know the bills, throw the ball all over the field. But if you make this a shootout and Mahomes plays, you're going to lose. You got to take the air out of the ball. You got to shorten the game. You got to do what Bill Parcells did and Bill Belichick did. And if you can't do that, it's not going to be pleasant for Bill's fans. I'm just telling you that right now. You're not going to get in a shootout with these guys and win. Mar, I feel like that's a totally different episode, right? I so think, uh, yeah, I feel like that's a completely different episode. Stay tuned I, for that one. <laughs> yeah.